Hi guys, it's Borks, and hello, welcome to my channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. So today, guys, we're doing the most handsomest man alive, handsomest man alive in Hollywood over 35. 35 to 39. Guys, I tried to pad this. Sorry, guys, my phone. I tried to pad this video, but I just could not get any more people on this list. And guys. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to put some off with that. Sorry, guys. I want to put some lip balm on. It's been a little dry to cut the shower, so. So, guys. Oh, guys, hold on. I never even for number one. This man alive. Hmm. Okay, guys. I know who I'm putting as number one. It's got a little, little star next to it or something. So, I know who I'm putting. Because I forgot to pay. Oh, dude, don't you draw my brand new shirt. Hey, guys, I have a brand new shirt on. And I'm tired of putting peroxide on my clothes to get stains out. Okay, so we're going to start in the alphabet. I guess this is the order for men. One, Rupert Grint, born August 24, 1988, age 35. Guys, Rupert Grant needs no introduction. Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. The most, Hamlin, most handsomest man to ever walk this earth. Guys, I haven't mean to make a Rupert Grant crush video, celebrity crush video. I just haven't gotten around to it. it he's really cute. He played, Ron, he played in a movie called Moonwalkers were talking about how they faked the moon landing. That movie wasn't my cup of tea. I only watched it for Rupert. It wasn't my... Oh, it says name right. It really wasn't my cup of tea. And But I still watched it and was like, hey, why not? I paid a dollar for the movie. I got it in the dollar store. I was like, hey, let's just watch this and watch this. I've watched it a couple times over. It's not my cup of tea, but I can appreciate what goes into it. I think there's just too much swearing and... F bombs in the movie for my liking. No, my dad did not like it. I made that watch. I mean, why are there so many F bombs? I was like, Dad, Rupert Grint's not a kid anymore. Hey guys, so further ado, let's get into William Mosley, number two. William Mosley played Peter in the Disney and Walden Narnia movies. Born April 27th, 1987. He's 30. Okay, he's 36. About to be 37. Like, how did it been? It's almost too much longer. He would be next age. So, guys, I, I think William is pretty cute. He played Peter. Now, I am personally more of an Edmund girl, but Peter was stunningly cute. He did a few other movies and shows. He was in a movie called, sorry, a show called Royals, where he believe, I believe he played a character named Liam. I never seen it, but I was like really interested in it. Cause I was like, it's Peter Babinzi. Like, you gotta be interested in watching Peter Babinzi. But <laughs> you. I actually think that Angus T. Jones, in a way, at one point, started to look like him a little bit. Uh, but that was just my personalized opinion. Also, guys, remember, please keep these these opinions. Please keep my opinions. This, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. In my opinions. Three Frankie Muniz, born twelve fifteen nineteen eighty five. Thirty. Anyway, guys, actually, I keep seeing this hair club, I believe it's hair club commercial, where it's Frankie Muniz, so about how he had the hair club done. Like, oh my god, he's still so cute. And my dad was like, wow, I was like, remember Malcolm in the middle? That's what Frankie was known for. My dad was like, yeah, I was like, that's Malcolm. I was like, that was Malcolm. I'm like, yeah, look, that look how young he is. No, what he got there? And I was like, oh my god, what Vicky got? I was like, yeah. God, I remember you having a huge crush on him. Actually, guys, I don't want to tell you guys the kind of videos I plan to make in case they take a month. He takes me months or years to film it. You guys notice my voice is starting to slur. I'm being sleepy, guys. I've been up all night. <laughs> I'm washing and cleaning. It's all good for you guys. 
Anyway, guys, I've been mean to make a Frankie Muniz celebrity crush video. Actually, guys, I think I've been mean to make a video almost on everybody that's on this list. A celebrity crush video, and just about everybody that's on this list. So please be patient with me. I will get around to it. And now I do counterpart a character home, guys. Sorry, you guys. I had to cough and did not want to do it on camera. But yeah, Frankie Muniz is really cute. Next, four. Is we're gonna skip five and get to five because five is number one. Luke Thompson on February fourth. I'm sorry, not February, guys. It's why does it say four four? I know for a fact it's July fourth. Oh, hold on, guys. Guys, I had to look for you guys, and I was right. It's July, not April. I don't want to tell too much about Luke that I want to learn this for a while, but all right. Luke plays in Bridgerton as Benedict Bridgerton. The I'm trying to the guys are alphabetical order. The second oldest Bridgerton child. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm telling you, I like to get Luke Thompson for myself. He's an English actor. I mean, some people are like, oh, he's not cute. I'm like, yeah, but he is cute. And I'd like to get Luke Thompson for myself. Guys, I don't know too, too much about Luke because it's the thing I've clips I've seen him in. I've actually never watched Bridgerton. I just seen the clips of the show, and Luke was super handsome in the clips. And I was like, oh, oh, yes. Did you get me? That's not appropriate. Guys, remember, I have viewers that are very young that watch me on YouTube. Okay, so after Luke on this level, five is number one, so we're going to. I actually had to, to toss up between us and plus five. Six, Colton Haynes, born seventh, 1388, so he's 35. Also, guys, I'm sorry, Luke is 35 as well. July 13th, 1988. Colin Haynes played as Jackson in Teen Wolf. You guys, I'm getting sleepy already. In Teen Wolf, he played in a couple other shows. He played in The Flash, but that's what I know him as Jackson from Teen Wolf. I think he played excellent Jackson. I think he is a great role model for a gay man who can play a leading the jock. It's just because you guys don't know. I guess I don't care about. Um, sexuality, so I don't bring them up in these videos, but Colton is a good example of it. Like, he doesn't let people make him feel bad about liking men. He doesn't kick back with people or just, like, you know, whatever. Colton looks really, really cool. He wasn't gay. Colton hit me up. Mm -mm, hit me up, Colton. Anyway, so number seven is Stephen R. McQueen, born also July 13th, 1998. I'm sorry, 19. Guys, I'm driving myself nuts. It's 1988, I know for a fact. Well, let me check that. Guys, memory's right, the paper's wrong again. It's 1988. I knew, sorry guys. I Guys, please keep in mind I'm not perfect. And see guys, I always double check my facts because he wouldn't be in this list if he was 98. I know Steven's a few years old than me. I always want to spell his name P um S T E V E. Yeah, which is actually how it's spelled here in my paper. Not correct, guys. His name is spelled P-H-E-N, like my cousin, not like other Stevens. No, his name is spelled similar to my cousin, so that's why it... His name is spelled exactly like my cousin, not... And see, so you guys, I even have... And see, I have the wrong spelling here. Okay, guys, so that's going to give away now who I put as number one. For this division, and just because I liked him the longest, I put Haley Jo Osmond as number one. See if this facts are right. Born April 10th, 1988. 35 years old. Guys, Haley Jo Osmond. What can I say about him? I've loved him since I was like four years old. I've seen clips of AI. I've seen clips of... 
um, some of the other movies that he did. He did Artificial Intelligence, which is AI. He did the one where he's dying. Where he's supposed to be, no, where he's a psychic because my mind is totally slipping. Sixth Sense. He did a lot of movies. He did a movie called Paid Forward. Loved it. Actually, they were having one in school, and the teacher didn't want me to. Do not take me inside and tell me, you know, Haley Joel Osment's not really dead because it's a movie? And I'm like, yeah, I know Haley Joel Osment's not dead. Like, it's a movie. I know Haley's not dead. And I've seen all the kids were crying. The teacher was trying to make an example out of me because I love Haley Joel Osment. And I don't think the teacher was playing Haley Joel Osment movies to make me look stupid. I'm not coming to that conclusion, guys. But anyway, I was like, nope. I know Haley Joel Osment's not dead. All the men on this list are all very, very handsome. But Haley Joel Osment, we can talk about. I'm going to do a whole separate video on Haley Joel Osment, guys. Because I've loved him since I was like four. Like, I thought I was going to marry him. It's called. Guys, I used to make my friends call me Mrs. Osment. And if you didn't call me, I would not answer to you. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, being a little girl. And then, guys, I did this from the age of four to like 12. <laughs> I did that longer than that. I'm gonna say I was like, did it for. like 12 to like 15. And Haley got into a car accident. I was like, oh my god, my husband. My husband. I was like freaking out. People were like, he's an actor. I'm like, but I love him. Okay, guys. I'm sorry this video was all over the place. I hope I cleared some of the boobs up. And for me, like, saying the wrong words and stuff. Remember to comment, like, share, subscribe. Go over and hit that bell. Be notified every time I upload for post notifications. Bye, guys.